All right, it's February 14th of this year, Valentine's Day. Steve Pachinik uh, saying that Snowden's an operative and doing all this under full authorization. Uh, and, and more than meets the eye. Here it is. Well, I, I will tell you very simply. I, I started to think of Snowden a long time ago, as I was saying. Uh, I thought he was an, 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 uh, analyzing him not as an American, but as a counterintelligence and, uh, operative or somebody who's had experience in counterintelligence. I thought Snowden was very much what I call the manufactured avatar of the American intelligence community. What do I mean by that? I started looking at tapes of Edward Snowden when he was giving these uh, bombastic interviews and self-aggrandizing interviews to the German press and other presses. But in the recent press, in a recent interview, he very clearly stated to the Germans, uh, yes, I was in the special forces, but I broke my ankle. Now, that was not credible to me, because if you're in the special forces, you don't just break your ankle and you don't leave. But he went on to explain that the special forces was something that was a noble endeavor on his part, and he saw it as a, a magnifier of, of military power. In other words, he gave me an explanation that was inconsistent with being a subcontractor. Mm -hmm. Then he went on to really indict himself by saying in the interview, I'm a CIA operative. I was recruited by the CIA and then the NSA. So what I'm getting at very quickly was Snowden is very typical of what we in the intelligence community would want to do. And that is to create an avatar or a image of a person who may be a, a traitor or a whistleblower so that we allow the American public to play off either part of two figures that the intelligence community creates. On the one hand, the intelligence community creates this incredible massive sur surveillance where at the same time they want to make sure that they are not acquitted, that they're not judged harshly so that they make sure they can control the narrative. That's right. It's already starting to come out so they have a limited hangout and dole out the information. And then later they can have him come out dressed up in a dress like David Shaler of MI5. Uh, or uh, Bradley Manning coming out in a dress. They found that's the best way to discredit something, making him an icon, and then Snowden comes out in a big red dress. Uh, Chelsea Manning, excuse me. And, I, and I'm not kidding that we may have just blown their operation right there. When will Snowden show up in a pink tutu is the question, Paul Watson. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know, Alex, but... Yeah, there, there are enough really bad things going on that we can prove. So I don't, I try not to get into speculation too much about Snowden because I know a lot of people get obsessed with that kind of stuff. But you but know I mean, the Manning stuff and Shaler. I mean, how many whistleblowers have to come out dressed like a woman? I mean, you know that's staged. Well, I met Shayla with you back in 2005, and he was completely the most down to earth person you would ever want no, to no, meet. No, no, we had so. drinks with him for about five hours. That, that was pretty odd. I think he did have a mental breakdown, but whether that was tied into something else, I don't know. It was definitely odd. No, um, that was all him blowing his whole operation at the end of it. That's classic, man. I'm telling you, I think pachinik has got something here. I'm not sure he's right. It may be his training makes you a little too paranoid, but it's good to be too paranoid than not enough paranoid.